শুধু দর্শক আপনাদের সকলকে আমন্ত্রণ জানাচ্ছি টিভিএন টোয়েন্টি ফোর স্পেশালি আজকের অনুষ্ঠানে আজকে আমাদের মাঝে এমন একজন অতিথি আছেন গেস্ট আছেন যিনি মার্কিন যুক্তরাষ্ট্রে আমেরিকায় ইউএস রিপ্রেজেন্টেটিভ হিসেবে আমাদের বাঙালিদের কাছে অনেক সুপরিচিত শি ইজ আ ফ্রেন্ড অফ বাংলাদেশ অ্যান্ড শি ইজ ইন আওয়ার ডিস্ট্রিক্ট ইন নিউ ইয়র্ক চলুন আমরা তার সঙ্গে পরিচিত হই তিনি আর কেউ নন অনারেবল কংগ্রেস ওম্যান গ্রেস ম্যাং চলুন আমরা গ্রেস ম্যাং এর সঙ্গে পরিচিত হই ওয়েলকামিং ইউ অনারেবল কংগ্রেস ওম্যান গ্রেস ম্যাং টু টিভি এন টোয়েন্টি ফোর স্পেশাল টুডে টু আওয়ার স্টুডিও থ্যাংক ইউ ইটস ওয়ান্ডারফুল টু বি ব্যাক হিয়ার এগেন থ্যাংক ইউ ভেরি মাচ থ্যাংক ইউ উই ভেয়ার পার্টিকুলারলি উই আর হ্যাপি অ্যান্ড টুডে আওয়ার অডিয়েন্স বেসিক্যালি উড লাভ টু নো ফ্রম ইউ হাউ ইউ আর হেল্পিং দি কমিউনিটি Let's start with this. You are here in the office for two and a half years or more. And I know that you have done a lot of works already. You have done for our uh, Eid holidays in the schools. You have done for our Rana Plaza in Bangladesh. You have done so many workshops and other, you know, uh, separate works to help people, make them aware or uh, help them to go to the right places, get the right help. in your constituency and even around your constituency whoever goes there you and your office help them right so let us know what else we can start with to let our bangladeshi viewers or you know other american viewers know that you are here to help them and grow as a very vibrant community with the rest of the communities in the district Well, sure. Uh, it's such a pleasure to work with the Bangladeshi American community. Uh, this is one of the communities that when I first ran for Congress, uh, many of whom did not know me, I uh, had not been in politics for too long, uh, but the community really embraced me. And so uh, there's a special bond uh, between myself, uh, our team, and the Bangladeshi American uh, community. And so my job uh, is sort of twofold. Uh, one one thing that uh, is very important uh, in, as my role as congressperson uh, is to help the Bangladeshi American community, well, many of whom are new immigrants, and I'm the daughter of immigrants as well, uh, to help them to become acclimated to American culture. Uh, of course, they need and want to succeed, but also to uh, reach back and help others uh, who may come, uh, immigrants who may come after us, and to make sure that uh, at the same time, the American society uh, truly appreciates the culture and the diversity of communities uh, like the Bangladeshis. Um, another thing is for me as a representative in Congress is to help make f- the federal government more accessible uh, for our communities. And so whether it's helping constituents who may come to our office for casework, uh, perhaps uh, they have applied for uh, um, an immigrant relative and the case is taking a very long time, uh, we can help reach out to the federal government for that. Uh, whether it's symbolic measures such as uh, sponsoring the resolution that we did for uh, to make International uh, Mother's Language Day well known throughout the entire country, uh, or whether it's uh, helping uh, the Bangladeshi American community really be appreciated by mainstream uh, community. Uh, for example, when our city worked together to help make Eid an official New York school, uh, New York City public school holiday. You know, these are all issues that uh, we need to continue to work together on. And, and yes, we've all done a lot, but there's a lot more to do. Thank you for mentioning all these things. But let me also uh, tell my uh, uh, viewers uh, how you are helping us even before the uh, election, before you uh, came to be a congresswoman. Shudhi Darshok, Grace Meng, Amadeh Shathe Aachen, Ashulei, Tad Baba Jokhun, elected official chilen, Tokhun Theke. Ebon Tokhun Theke, She Kach Kortche, Amadeh Shathe Ebon She Karone, Tad Baba, Ebon She, Ebon Whole Family, Basically, Bangladeshi Deer, Ebon Amadeh South Asian, Ba Asian Deer, Jonno, Particularly Kach Kortche. Aar Amra Jokhuni Bangladeshi, Aapnara Shun Leng Grace Meng, Kachche, Je Jokhuni Kono Special Case, Gyeche, Othoba Kono Bill Pashe, Jonno Gyeche, In General, Tokhun She, She Khani Kito, Jhaapie Poreche, Ebon Amadeh Right Sandition Gyeche. Cholo, Namra Aro Kichu Kata Boli. Honorable Congresswoman, uh, I just tried to, you know, explain a little in, in, in Bengali. How do you think 
the uh, community people, particularly the new generations, students or the immigrants, I, I would emphasize on the new generations, can involve in uh, building the community and also in your office or in U.S. Uh, growth of the you know social, cultural, economic uh, sections of this, this country. Uh, sure. Well, one of the most important things that we can do for emerging communities is to help people to register and vote. And even if you are not eligible to register and vote, you can know and encourage your family members, your neighbors, your friends uh, to register and vote. And this is something that's really important. Uh, the Bangladeshi American community has made tremendous strides in such a short time in the New York City electoral process. For example, to have Bengali on on the ballots, that is truly a, a direct effort of the community uh, themselves, and that is not an easy task. And we hope with those translations uh, that more people will feel comfortable in, in coming out to vote. Yeah, they feel like it's their country right. now, with, the, with the language itself, the culture, everything they feel, no, we can do mm -hmm. everything to help this country as right. my own country, right. keeping their own belief, own language, mm -hmm. own culture. Mm -hmm with them right. and also at the same time contributing mm -hmm. to the mainstream mm -hmm. American right. agendas. Now let us also discuss how you think that we being here you know, uh, as a whole nation, whole world as one country, uh, our, our parents, our forefathers, our relatives and friends back there and you also have heard many things or you are aware of Bangladeshis as a whole, how we can also through your office or through other offices, federal offices, congressional offices, help Bangladeshis in general be aware of the developing world, aware of the American dreams. Uh, well, uh, the Bangladeshi uh, American community is an integral part of American society. Uh, my job uh, in Congress also includes being on the House Foreign Affairs Committee, uh, on the subcommittee on Asia. And so, you know, the status of, of people in Bangladeshi, uh, our allies, uh, is very important as well. And issues of that affect uh, Bangladesh are very important also to uh, Americans who live here, Bangladeshi Americans. And so this is something that, you know, uh, America is very interested in seeing uh, Bangladeshi grow as a strong democracy. And I mean, uh, with this, I was mentioning in the introduction that you have helped uh, the retailers, particularly apparel retailers here in America, to be aware or to uh, do something so that Bangladesh garment factories, footwear factories, they, they always keep their industries healthy. They do not include the teenagers or minors mm -hmm. in their works. Mm -hmm. So what have you done and what, where do we, do we stand now in that you know, process? Sure. Well, the tragedy uh, at Rana Plaza really garnered the attention of the entire world. And what we emphasized in the days, weeks, uh, and months afterwards uh, was corporate responsibility. Uh, there are Amer a lot of American companies uh, who make products that uh, Americans benefit from. And we wanted to tell them, uh, look, don't do, for example, just pull your business out of Bangladesh. That's not the socially uh, and corporate responsible uh, solution. Uh, how can we uh, work together with the, the people of Bangladesh to ensure that our workers, many of whom are women, uh, and, and you know, to make sure that they have a proper working environment? And I think that even though that was such a horrible tragedy, uh, what stemmed from that, and we are seeing progress every day, uh, is stronger and safer uh, work environment for the people of Bangladesh. And so this is something that America should continue to be very interested in, uh, we benefit from the economy in Bangladesh as well. Thank you very much. You know, and it's to be to tell you the truth that it's helping the country, women and the whole workers. Now they are very particular in their atmosphere, maintaining the safety, security, mm -hmm. health, Great. and all other things. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Congresswoman. Let us also uh, discuss about the the. Uh, facilities that you are giving not only to the Bangladeshis or to the Muslims or Hindus or Christians, mm -hmm. to everybody in schools. What do you think that you know we can do or your office can do in letting the Bangladeshis or the minorities, immigrants feel 
that they are at home because there are complaints about bullying there are complaints mm-hmm. about some threats mm-hmm. in schools what is your idea or vision to make it more healthier more you know for what you call accommodating to the immigrants uh, well, it is our responsibility uh, as people who work in government and our public servants to ensure that whatever we can do to make parents and families feel more uh, inclusive and a part of, for example, the school system, uh, the better. Uh, one reason why I was an early supporter of the s- a public school holiday for Eid is because I remember as a child of immigrants what it was like growing up. And while it was wonderful to celebrate other ethnicities' holidays, uh, we never got to celebrate our own in the Asian community. And that's just a very basic and symbolic step to make uh, growing communities feel like they are truly a part of New York and and American society. Another thing that we're continuing to support is for uh, the provision of halal food in our school system. And this is something, uh, you know, all ideas that we work on, uh, some happen quick, more quickly than others, uh, are because uh, directly of outreach from the community. Uh, when we hear problems from the community, and we may not be able to solve it right away, but it's uh, it's very helpful for us to to hear from the, the eyes and ears of, of our community. Uh, bullying is something that is a, a very important topic. Uh, as a parent of young children in public school right now, you know I can tell you that these are sort of new problems that even I, as a kid growing up in New York, did not have to face because because when I was a kid, we didn't have the internet. You know, so if a kid bullied you at school or made fun of you, you just stay away from them. The solution is simple. Now our communities are more diverse. People may make fun of a kid because of the way they look or the way they dress. Uh, and unfortunately with children, uh, the, 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 the bullying sometimes is pervasive. You know, it can be on Facebook, it can be on email, and it's hard for our children to escape. So, you know, this is a, definitely a new issue we need to tackle. Thank you for your concerns. And with that, let us take a sh- brief break for the commercials, and then we will come back. Dorshak Bonili, Amra Kothabul Chilam, Honorable Congresswoman Grace Magnishongi, Chotto Biruti Nitsi, Thakbe Namadishongi. শুধু দর্শক মন্ডলী ফিরে এলাম আবারও টি বি এন টোয়েন্টি ফোর স্পেশালি এবং আমরা কথা বলছিলাম আমাদের অনারেবল কংগ্রেসম্যান গ্রেস ম্যাংয়ের সাথে চলুন আবার তার সঙ্গে আমরা কথোপকথনে মিল ওয়েলকাম ব্যাক এগেন গ্রেস ম্যাং হোয়াট শুড উই ডু বেসিক্যালি ইফ ইউ টেল আস আর আওয়ার ভিউয়ার্স টু নট ওনলি টু মেক অ্যাওয়ার অ্যাবাউট like you, what you did International Mother Language Day and Eid holidays, if something comes up, say, which is uh, not known or common to our mainstream, what should we do? How can we tackle, like you said about bully, bullying in schools, but if there is something new, each and every culture has some sort of things that are completely new to other cultures, particularly American cultures. So what is your idea that you know we should do to make people aware of that and help them you know, accept it or accept the mainstream cultures as well. Sure. Well, there will always be new issues, like you say, and then there will be uh, newer communities than us that we can reach back and give our uh, advice to help. Um, And I I think it's really important. And schools are a wonderful example. You know, principals and teachers, uh, uh, they are there because they want to teach and to help our children uh, grow uh, and to be uh, strong leaders. Um, Sometimes, uh, if let's say, uh, immigrant uh, parents from immigrant communities might not feel comfortable, let's say, attending a school meeting. Uh, But then it's hard for the school to know what what the problems are. Mm -hmm. And so I think communication uh, is very important to let the school or, you know, whichever entity uh, know that the community is there and that, you know, we want to help in these instances of uh, newer uh, situations. Any particular measures like, you know, keeping uh, interpreters or extra help like Bengali teachers or some sort of thing that can that can work as the media group between the main school campus or main school teachers or executives and also the parents or the students. 
Sure. Well, language access is always important. Uh, at the government level, I used to be in the state legislature, and we pushed uh, hard for a more language access uh, under each government agency. Uh, the governor has done that to some extent. I remember we announced it together uh, in, I think, 2011 right, or 2010. Um, but on the federal level and on the city level, you know, it's not perfect. More needs to be done. So, you know, ideally, we need to have a, a more perfect system where someone might not feel comfortable in speaking English that they could still call uh, call up the school or they could still call uh, up whatever government agency and you know I, I think that uh, city state and even federal we're, we're getting better at that as our country becomes uh, more diverse thank you thank you very much yeah it's all our you know the hopes to our immigrants to our Bangladeshis or whatever immigrants now let us uh, focus on something else. How about the immigrants' issues? How do you face them? We have a lot of, of course, legals, also unregistered or undocumented people. Mm. And there is this <coughs> Obama executive. You have helped people understand what is fact and what is not fact and uh, try to make them aware of the scams, some exploitations mm -hmm. by some people or a group of people. Mm -hmm. So how do you address that to our community? Uh, well, immigration reform uh, obviously is a very serious issue right now in our country, uh, and Congress has definitely been very slow to tackle it. Uh, those of us who support uh, comprehensive immigration reform uh, really face a lot of opposition in Congress. Uh, however, there are you know things that we can try to uh, do in the meantime, at least locally, and especially here in New York, we uh, we all have uh, a governor and a mayor who I believe really understands the plight of newer immigrants and and tries to help. Uh, you know, one thing that uh, a lot of people have uh, been happy about is the IDNYC. And that's something that has uh, uh, helped, you know, in a small way, doesn't solve the problem of immigration reform, uh, but has helped uh, many immigrants be able to live a, a better quality of life. Uh, and, and, and there will continue to be many more issues because this issue needs to be solved at the federal level. It needs to have uh, the full uh, attention uh, of, of Congress passing legislation. Um, but, you know, people, uh, again, especially with newer Americans, uh, there are so many ways that they fall prey uh, to uh, people who try to scam, um, many people who take advantage of the fact that they don't know English. And so whether it's lawyers, uh, whether it's uh, uh, specifically focusing on immigration uh, or um, uh, tax issues, or something that we worked on was about phone calls. You know, uh, we would have cases where uh, people would call uh, our constituents, right? Yeah, and sometimes they even speak in their own language, which mm -hmm. is very tricky. And they ask uh, for money to be wired. So you know, no one's going to ask for money on the phone. You should never uh, listen to them. Thank you very much. And now let's uh, talk about the special things that you said to you. Uh, special caseworks, the, the seminars, symposiums, town hall meetings that you are organizing to help people know or be aware of the facts, have more access to their rights. Mm -hmm. So how do you think that you know our people should work or act to be more you know connected to the mainstream or more to access the facilities or the benefits that this city or state or the federal government offers to the immigrants? Sure. Well, it, that's a great question. Um, our job in government is to help bring the government, in my case, the federal government, closer to our constituents. Uh, there are often changes in the law that may end up helping us, but that, that period in between about learning about these new laws can be very confusing and daunting for many people. So what we've done is when we hear about uh, a lot of complaints or concerns on certain issues, uh, we try to hold seminars and workshops uh, where we are bringing experts, whether it's from the government uh, or other experts, directly to the people in their communities. And so we did this, for example, with the Affordable Health Care Act. 
uh, as people were uh, telling people to enroll, uh, we brought the navigators directly uh, to the South Asian community and explained to them what's the best way to do it. Uh, we did this um, with, for example, the New York Police Department. Uh, they have a lot of techniques that our community uh, houses of worship need to know to best protect their uh, congregants uh, in their house of worship. And these are some things that um, you know I didn't even know. Um, we had another thing about hate crimes and you know how to uh, combat hate crime and decrease these instances in, in our communities. Uh, small businesses is another example. You know, we brought our Republican chairman from Washington and had him do uh, hold a hearing right here in our district, so he could hear directly from the Asian American community what some of the obstacles that they faced were. And these are all in the hopes of government also being more responsive. So, for example, with the small business hearing, uh, directly out of that hearing, uh, they changed the SBA changed the way that they provided loans and made it a little easier for um, many new uh, small business owners to to obtain loans and so you know government is not perfect uh, we all need to work together and let them know uh, what they can do better and uh, we are continuously improving both government and and uh, the constituents I mean the <coughs> residents so thank you congresswoman for all these things let us also uh, you just mentioned about the religious uh, uh, houses how they need to be protected but you have uh, helped them uh, I mean uh, repair or uh, protect or uh, restore places when it was uh, affected by Sandy can you also make a little uh, sure uh, the first bill that I passed as a congresswoman uh, and it still has to pass the Senate it only passed my side uh, the first bill was about uh, helping houses of worship uh, temples, mosques, synagogues uh, in the wake of disasters. So whether it's Sandy or future disasters, we see a lot when people go through disaster, uh, their local uh, temple or mosque will be reaching out to helping them, even if they are not part of their uh, house of worship. And so what we saw was a park was able to get federal money after disaster. Uh, maybe a theater, because it was a nonprofit, was able to get money. But then we had these houses of worship that helped so many people, whether it's homeless shelter, whether it's providing food, drinks, uh, whether it's providing clothing, uh, they weren't able to get any help from the federal government. And so our bill would change that. Uh, you know, it's not some people object because they think it's going to buy, you know, religious items, but it's, it's not like that. Um, and so we, we want to still work on that. Thank you very much. And uh, Congressman Grace Meng, uh, we are almost to the end of our, our uh, show, I mean the TBN24 special. What I would request you, uh, can you tell us how, like you are friendly to TBN, to all the media, to everybody, how the general viewers in, in, in screen and uh, the people who are not here, they don't even have time to see the TV or read newspapers, mm -hmm. how they can also be aware of the facilities in, 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 in brief, aware of the facilities that the offices of the uh, your office or other congressional offices offers. And then I would also expect that you summarize or advise our viewers. In uh, sure. Well, many people uh, work uh, a lot and maybe don't have time to uh, watch the news or read the newspaper. And actually, a lot of our young people are, are very busy. The, the younger generation, they do everything on their mobile phones. Mobile phone or Facebook. Right. So, you know, we have a presence on social media, for example, Facebook and Twitter. Uh, we also have a website, meng.house.gov, that people can go to uh, and they can submit inquiries. Uh, you don't have to come to our office uh, just to receive help. You can uh, inquire by phone or, or email as well. Uh, and I really want to thank you for this opportunity to talk to uh, our wonderful viewers uh, again. It's wonderful to uh, be here. And I really just want to, you know, you asked me to give advice. I think the Bangladeshi American community is already doing a wonderful job. Uh, this is a community that is relatively new in the history of New York, uh, but really has already worked hard, united, and accomplished so much. Uh, for the community. Uh, we just have to continue to work together and do what we're doing and I think we will see a lot more uh, fruits of our success uh, in the near future. 
Thank you, Congresswoman Grace Meng. Give me a minute. Darshok, I'm going to talk about the first time. I'm going to talk about the Honorable Congresswoman Grace Meng. She's an officer. 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 जार जेको सुविधा असुविधा आज जो प्रयोजन आपनारा सब समय कन्टैक्ट करते फेसबुक प्रेजेंसर कथा बल तर अफिसर कथा बल तर टूटार प्रेजेंसर कथा बल एवं आबा टी एन टोटी फोर स्पेशले एम कॉग्रेसमैन ग्रेस मेंगेर मोतो उन्नानो जरा रिद्धो ऐ शॉर्टकारेश शंके आते हैं बा बांग्लादेशी देर बंधु ही शब्द आते हैं इधरे एवं बांग्लादेशी तादेक क्या आनपो आमदेर शंके थक बन आप तादेक के अनेक धनुबाद एवं चलो शोभाई मिले ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ टीबीएन ट्वेंटी फोर स्पेशल वी थैंक यू कॉग्रेसमैन ग्रेस मेंगेर